In the complex and rapidly evolving world of advanced military technology, there is one weapon class that offers special promise and potential. Not just to remake the battlefield, but to reorder the rules of warfare itself. They are the Directed Energy Weapons, or just DEW. A blanket reference to systems that harness concentrated energy in the form of electromagnetic waves or lasers to disable or kill targets with little to no classical kinetic contact. The true significance of the DEWs is that they potentially reorder the rules of warfare altogether, substituting earlier missile technology, bombs, even bullets, with something far more efficient, precise, and threatening. Imagine a battlefield on which war is being waged unheard and unseen except from the glow of beams disabling vital systems, from drones to military vehicles, within seconds. It is the world being constructed by companies such as Aperius and Blue Halo, among others. By tapping the potential of microwaves and lasers, the systems challenge the limits of warfare that appear all but science fiction, but increasingly a not-too-distant reality on the battlefield. The first weapon for today is the Aperius Leonidas, a next-generation directed energy weapon from Aperius, the world leader in applying electromagnetic energy to warfare. The Leonidas system is a full-blown revolution, a quantum improvement over non-kinetic warfare. The Leonidas is essentially a high-powered microwave weapon that is capable of disrupting, disabling, and neutralizing enemy electronics, drones, radar equipment, communications equipment, even entire vehicles the Leonidas is capable of disabling nearly any modern electronic system it is aimed against. Instead of using explosive power or bullets to disable its targets, it uses high-powered bursts of microwave energy that cause the electronics in the target systems to overload and short-circuit and shut them down entirely. The real value of this system is that it is capable of neutralizing threats with little or no physical destruction and the associated casualties that go with it. It doesn't kill equipment, it disables it. And that makes it a highly desirable weapon for modern militaries that need to disable enemy forces with less collateral damage. One of the most significant advantages of the Leonidas system is how flexible it is. Fixed DEWs, with their fixed positions and extensive amounts of infrastructure that need to support them, simply can't match up. Being a mobile system, Leonidas can be placed on any number of military vehicles. Whether a towed trailer or even striker, its mobility gives it the ability to redeploy and deploy quickly on the battlefield. Essentially, it gives the military the ability to deploy an impenetrable, invisible shield against the enemy's electronic warfare with the agility to match the constantly shifting dynamics of the battlefield. And the ability of the Leonidas is truly amazing. It is capable of operation up to a 100 meter range at half power essentially neutralizing drones as well as other airborne threats from a great distance, all without the expense and resource needs of kinetic weapons. Moreover, the Leonidas is not just used in large-scale attacks against enemy systems, but is used against specific threats as well. So fine-tuned is the microwave energy of the system that it is capable of eliminating a single drone or a single electronic component within a network of other systems. This level of precision is invaluable when dealing with high-level threats of advanced drone swarming or complex radar systems common in advanced combat. And perhaps the best benefit of the tech is that it is capable of disabling the systems and electronics the attacks rely on without ever touching them. In an era of more prevalent cyber warfare, the Leonidas is a valuable tool in the fight against the same in that it is capable of eliminating the electronics and systems that attacks are reliant on. In the meantime, while the American system has grabbed international headlines, the United Kingdom has been quietly developing its own cutting-edge solution in the high-frequency arms race, a powerful radio-frequency directed energy weapon, or RFDEW, that is as unassuming as it is lethal. In an April 2025 trial conducted in West Wales, United Kingdom, a prototype British RFDEW reportedly disabled about 100 commercial-grade drones of varying sizes some flying in coordinated formations, others independently. Each drone was operating on different communications frequencies and using randomized evasive flight paths, but the system's Adaptive AI Threat Prioritization module detected, classified, and engaged them without human intervention. Every drone crashed to the ground, completely intact, but electronically dead. And here's the jaw-dropper. The entire engagement cost about 12 cents worth of electricity. 
This is the battlefield value of RFTEWs. Each shot consumes around 8 to 15 kilojoules of energy, roughly the same as boiling a kettle. There's no reload, no supply chain for munitions, and no noise to betray your location. A ground unit could remain in silent defense mode for hours, knocking drones from the sky without so much as a muzzle flash. Moreover, the British system offers frequency selectivity down to a surgical degree. In urban trials, staged on a replica metropolitan block at the Porton Down facility, engineers demonstrated that the DEW could fry the circuitry of a target drone while leaving nearby Wi-Fi routers, radios, and mobile phones untouched. This level of electromagnetic precision is not just an engineering feat, it's a strategic superpower. It means you can deploy these weapons near civilian infrastructure, even near airports, without causing systematic disruption. And they're scalable. The latest iterations are designed with modular emitters that can be combined into arrays for enhanced range or focused on narrow beam emissions for hard kills against hardened electronics. Integrated cooling systems and supercapacitor charging banks mean the weapon can recharge in under 3 seconds after each pulse, making it fast, relentless, and unreasonably efficient. Although microwave-based directed energy weapons cannot be discounted, they are not the only directed energy weapons creating a splash in modern military tech. Another extremely promising innovation is the Locust system from Blue Halo. A directed energy weapon based on lasers that is intended to counter the new menace of drones. Drones already pervade modern warfare as both a reconnaissance asset and as an offensive system that can deploy explosives, drop an ordnance payload, or even make attacks on their own or with other drones. Being able to destroy drone threats before they even get to their target is an increasingly valuable asset for military forces all over the world. Blue Halo's Locust system is a revolutionizing drone defense system. Instead of relying on missiles or other projectiles similar to other anti-air systems, the Locust system uses a powerful laser system capable of blasting its target with precision. The system is capable of targeting multiple drones simultaneously because of its advanced tracker and targeting system. Through advanced algorithms and superior optics, Locust can monitor the flight trajectory of drones, compute their path, and neutralize them with a concentrated beam of energy. One advantage of the Locust system is clear – its precision. While conventional missile systems run the risk of missing the target or being shot down, the laser is that precise that when it has a target within its sights, there is no evading its beam. It is therefore an excellent weapon for taking out small and evasive targets such as drones that cannot be hit with conventional kinetic weapons. The Locust is also economical. Just a few dollars. While conventional counter-drone weaponry utilizes expensive missiles that need to be replenished after each battle, the laser is capable of taking out more than one target without physical ammunition. It is a cost-effective and sustainable method of countering drone hordes that continue to gain more prevalence in modern warfare. This system is equally versatile. It is deployable on a range of platforms, from ground vehicles up to fixed sites, and is therefore deployable across a range of situations. Securing an airbase, defending a military convoy, or patrolling the periphery of a military base, the Locust is configured as required by the mission. And perhaps most importantly of all, it eliminates drone swarming, a new and increasingly formidable enemy of modern warfare. Drone swarming, generally employed by an opponent as a means of overwhelming defenses, is a thorny target for conventional air defenses. The Locust, however, is capable of attacking and eliminating multiple drones simultaneously, with a previously unprecedented level of protection against this nascent enemy. As threats become more technologically advanced, the combination of microwave and laser-based directed energy weapons into one system has the potential to transform how the military defends against threats. Imagine a scenario in which a Leonidas system knocks out an enemy radar system, disabling the enemy's awareness of an approaching assault. Meanwhile, a system kills an enemy drone swarm, and an RFDEW kills a missile or jams enemy communications. The combination of all three technologies is what would offer impenetrable defenses in a way of an immensely capable multi-leveled system of destroying a range of threats in real time. This potential future, a future of multiple DEW systems that integrate with one another, is a preview of a new type of war. 
What are your thoughts on directed energy weapons? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to Military World to get our latest videos straight to your notifications.